Welcome to Picture Healer channel. We are near the end of the Feng Shui period 8 right now and going to period 9 in 2024. So what are the best Feng Shui mountain and water directions in both period 8 and period 9? And how are we going to transition to period 9? First, we want to know the 9 Feng Shui periods. Each period has 20 years and we are very close to period 9 right now. The period 8 we are in right now starts from 2004 to 2023. And in 2024 until 2043 is the period 9. The period 8 belongs to the earth element and in Bagua it belongs to the Gen and uh, belongs to the northeast. For period 9, it belongs to the fire element and the Ba Gua belongs to the Li Gua and uh, the direction is the south. Before we talk about the Feng Shui mountain and water, we need to know what they mean. In many schools of Feng Shui, the mountain is related to health and relationship of spring luck, the luck for your future generations, and uh, helpful people and it can also include fame and your talent. For the water is related to wealth, money, income, savings, investment or anything related to cash flow and money management. When we look at the Bagua chart here, every direction is related to a number. For the number 8 is related to Gen and North East. In the Feng Shui period 8, people always suggest to have a mountain in the North East and opposite to that is the South West and that's the best place to have a water feature. So this way we support the energy of the number 8 in the North East and we have water in the southwest to enhance money and wealth luck. Another way to find the best water location is according to these number combinations, which are 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, and 4, 9. Those are very lucky combinations. For period 8, there's 3 and 8, so the number 3 is also a good place to have water to enhance number 8 period. And the number 3 belongs to the east. So east is also a very good location for water feature in period 8. With the same principle during period 9, the number 4 is very lucky to have water feature. And according to the Bagua chart, the number 4 belongs to the southeast. So southeast is a good direction to have a water feature in period 9. And because period 9 belongs to the south, south is the direction to have a mountain to support the energy of number 9. And the opposite to that in the north is a good place to have a water feature. It can be a river, it can be a pond, a pool, a fish tank or a water fountain. And there is an extended lucky water and mountain directions. The nine numbers besides the number five are separated into two sides, one, two, three, four, and uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. So during period nine, you can actually use six, seven, eight, and nine as the lucky mountain direction and uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 as a lucky water direction. But those are just extended and not as powerful as the true number 9 direction, which is the south for the mountain, and also the opposite of the number 9, which is the north for the water direction. And the same idea applies to period 8. So this is the period 8 chart. The number 1, 2, 3, 4 are extended lucky water direction and uh, 6, 7, 8, 9 are extended lucky directions for the mountain. Because we are talking about the whole period, either period 8 or period 9, 
each period lasts for 20 years. So we're talking about more long term instead of the flying star yearly chart. That's changed every year. And we can use this to look at bigger properties or even cities and countries to get a general idea for the people living in that land. So you can look at the landscape of where you live, from the individual building to the city, or even bigger area, maybe a state or a country, and see the lack based on the location of the water and the mountain. The next common question is when should we switch to Piri 9 Feng Shui? We are in 2021 now. We only have about two or three years before Piri 9. So if you never pay attention to your water and mountain directions, you can just use Piri 9 chart and try to set up your Feng Shui based on the Piri 9 chart. The energy is changing gradually. By now, the power of the number eight period is weakening and the energy of number nine is increasing. So we are in the transition and there's no clear rule of which day you should change, but we should consider number nine periods, lucky water and mountain feng shui setup, even though we are still in period eight. A lot of times when we check the feng shui, we want to see the long-term result. If you are trying to find a place to live, either buying a property or renting, remember to check the feng shui for number nine period. And the best feng shui is to have a tall mountain or a tall building or any tall structure in the south and any water moving traffic or lower ground in the north side. And the same with southeast. A water feature here will be nice. And if you are thinking to travel for work or for study, maybe in a different state or different country, it's also a good idea to check the water and mountain location of the country or the feng shui of the new area. So now we know the best direction for mountain and water. How do we set up our own mountain and water if the natural mountain and water are not there? It would be nice if all the natural mountain and water are in the right place. But if we have no choice, we can still set up our artificial mountain and water feature to symbolize mountain and water. The mountain in Feng Shui can mean anything that's taller, a big structure, a tall tree, or any higher landscape. And it can be either outdoor or indoor in that direction. So many people use a tall furniture or cabinet in that direction of the house to represent a mountain. A mountain should be also solid and stable, so nothing too flimsy or moving easily. And the one trick I heard is to add a big crystal, such as a big amethyst geode, because the natural crystal is from the earth, so it can represent the energy of the mountain. And for the water in Feng Shui, it usually means lowered ground. It can be moving traffic, such as a road or a river, or any space that's more open and flat. The obvious one is to add a water fountain, pond, a pool, or fish tank. For indoors, it's easier to set up a water fountain in that direction. So the water is moving all the time. It will activate the wealth lock. So this is an overview of the number nine period feng shui, the lucky water and mountain directions. If you use flying star feng shui based on the house direction and your house period, you will have more specific chart and the specific lucky mountain and water direction. And you can also combine with yearly chart to adjust the water and mountain directions. The water and mountain are like opposite. 
So if one place is lucky for mountain and you place a water feature, that will actually weaken the luck of the mountain. And vice versa, if a place is supposed to be lucky for water and you set up a mountain, such as a tall furniture, it will weaken the power of the lucky water. Since we are moving from period 8 to period 9, they are feng shui adjustment. So check your house and see if you have a mountain or higher ground or tall structure in the south side that will be very lucky for your health and relationship. And if you have water, a river, or a traffic flow, or anything that's lower or a fountain in the north direction, it can bring you good money luck. And the same with the southeast direction. This is a good place to set up a water fountain or have a fish tank or a small pond for money luck. So those are very basic rules for period 9 feng shui. Thank you for watching Picture Healer Feng Shui channel and talk to you next week.